Moving on, it's now time to tell you about another Nigerian we found doing something amazing around the world. Yewande Osamain always dreamt of being a part of Nollywood. Today, she is featured in a few productions. She's also training children to develop their communication skills using storytelling and drama. Let's check her out. Hello, everyone. My name is Yewande Oshimei. I am a performing artist, TV presenter, and producer. Check me out. I was born and bred in London, United Kingdom. I didn't really have to juggle in between Nigeria and England growing up, although my father was actually based here in Nigeria, so it was more of him always coming to see us in England, and you know, sometimes my mum would be back and forth as well. I remember giving myself a name called Kelly because I didn't want people to know my Nigerian name at a play centre. I told everybody my name was Kelly, and my mom came one evening shouting, you are there, you are there. And I was so embarrassed because I was like, I'm not African. My name is not, my, I don't have an African name. I have a very English name, you know. Um, and it took me a while before I began to actually appreciate my African descent and appreciate my origin, appreciate my culture. So my parents weren't aware that I was plotting to school in Lagos. So um, we went for a holiday and I just said I was not going back. I managed to stay and I thought I would do the whole four, five years in creative arts. I only managed to do a year. It was not what I was expecting. It was very challenging. Um, the culture shock, I found myself always having to like a freedom fighter. If I see anything that was wrong, I'd always speak out and, I, would, and I, be, I began to be known as the loud mouth. So after, I think about six months, I just decided that, yeah, this is, this is not for me. My mother was so happy. I was like, you know what, I'll go back to England, complete my university education, and then come back and figure out this Nollywood thing. Performing arts, drama was the one thing that I was the best at in school, in um, primary school, in secondary school, and up to college. I did stand out, so I always knew this was for me. And um, up until college, that was when I decided that yes, I would give it a go at Nigeria because I still had this clear obsession with Nollywood. So school was actually the only thing keeping me from pursuing my dream as an actor in Nigeria. So I always knew I'd come back, regardless of having to finish my, um, complete my university education in England, I knew I was going to come back. So when that was through, what was left? It was to come back to Nigeria and just um, go for full force. I'm so proud of everybody. So far, I have featured in a few feature films, TV series, commercials for brands, and um, TV presenting for about two entertainment companies now. On my own, I train and volunteer at um, a few public schools. And what I try to achieve with them is to aid community development, um, develop their skills, their communication skills, and we focus on storytelling, um, acting workshops. So um, I use drama as a way to highlight social issues, economical issues, issues with governance, and we do tell stories on um, sexual abuse, drug abuse, the girl child, and it's a way for me to kind of teach them but in the most creative way so that they don't feel like they're being taught. And I hope to take it further, take it up a notch, maybe give them a few productions to star in and just bring people that they admire and that they look up to, to be a part of them as well, to come and watch their plays, to come and take part in all the workshops that we do and just give them something to look forward to. My favorite Nigerian meal has to be pounded yam. Yon, 
My name is Iwande Oshimei, TV presenter, performing artist and producer, and you've just checked me out. Fantastic. Let's now take a quick reminder of our top story for this week. As Nigerians express concerns at the country's preparedness to contain the deadly coronavirus, the government insists they are well prepared to prevent further outbreak. I'm so scared because I don't think Nigerian government is capable. We will use all measures and resources made available by the government to respond to this case. If you want to know your thoughts, you can join the conversation right now on Twitter at Just Nigeria TV. And for more on any of our stories, visit bbc.com forward slash Africa and channelstv.com. That has been our package today. Thank you for staying with us. Until next time, I am Wali Fakile. Goodbye.